Chapter 4 Chased by a Ghoul Simon and I worked our way back to the front of the graveyard. We found some bushes in front of a big tombstone and sat down to wait. I sure hoped Mrs. Mary Jones, loving wife and mother, didn't mind. We were sitting on her grave. What time is it? I whispered. Simon watched looked at his watch. It was one of those really fancy watches that tell you the time to the nanosecond. It's 9.42.05.43, he told me. Couldn't you just tell me it's 20 to 10, I complained. I looked around for the 10th time, and why hasn't Fatso shown up? What's he going to do? Just walked just walk in the front gate and expect us to be scared? We sat and waited and waited. We heard an owl hooting. Then we heard another owl hooting a little further off. I looked at Simon. Those owls sound funny, he whispered. I nodded. I don't think those are owls, Simon. You think it's Fatso, he whispered. Yeah, Fatso, he sighed, and his friends. That means they're all here and hiding. Maybe they've been watching us all along. I looked at the front gate. We could just leave, I said. No way, said Simon. You were right the first time. We either face up to them now or spend the whole year waiting for them to do something awful, I finished for him. The choice was simple. Let's just start walking and see what happens. Simon and I stepped out from our hiding spot. We followed the path to the right. It led deeper and deeper into the graveyard. As the path got further and further away from the street, it got darker and darker. Hoot, hoot, called a very sick owl, or one of Fatso's friends. Okay, so they were watching us. They knew we were here. We just had to be ready for something to happen. Just keep walking, Simon, I whispered. Don't look afraid. So we kept going. By now, I didn't know where we were, Little paths just kept branching off from each other. We were deep in the heart of the graveyard. I couldn't hear any road noises. But then I heard something that made my heart thump. A dog growled. Then the dog barked. Simon and I froze. The barking got louder and louder. And let me tell you, this dog didn't sound like one of those little teacup poodles. This dog sounded like a cross between a Great Dane and a St. Bernard. Run! I yelled to Simon. Simon took off. I followed him. The dog was on our heels, but I was too afraid to look back. I didn't want to see what a hound from hell looks like. We ran and ran, twisting and turning. The dog was always just behind us. He kept growling like he'd tear us apart. And then, suddenly, the barking stopped. I turned to look, but nothing was there. Then I turned back to Simon. He wasn't there either. Simon, I whispered. Then, Simon, a little bit louder. Where was he? Had the dog gotten him? Had the dog circled around me and come at Simon from the front? Was Simon now a chew toy? I stood there in the dark for a few minutes, looking in every direction. I was afraid to move in case Simon came back. Then I heard a twig snap. Someone was out there. Who's there? I called. Simon, is that you? I heard another twig snap. Then I remembered my flashlight. I yanked it out of my pocket and shone it all around. I wish I hadn't. The only thing the thing was only a few feet away. It was a ghoul, a ghoul dripping blood. The thing was huge, towering over me. I turned and ran. The ghoul followed me. Stupid, I said to myself. Turn off the flashlight. I shoved it in my pocket. The thing was still following me, even in the dark. Then I heard the dog again. The dog was growling like he was about to jump on me. I ran and ran. I couldn't see where I was going. I didn't see the grave up ahead. I banged into the tombstone and tripped. I landed on something soft. The soft thing gave way and I was falling. Down and down. Then I landed with a thud. At last, I heard laughing. Crazy, evil laughing.
and then nothing. I waited and waited. At last, I turned on my flashlight to see where I was. There was all earth around me. The hole was a little bigger than I was, maybe two meters deep. Make that six feet deep. Six feet deep? Six feet deep? I was in a grave!